When the Isthmus of Panama emerged from the sea, it generated a great exchange of animal and plant species between North and South America, which changed life on our planet forever. Two very different oceans were also formed. The first routes through the Isthmus were created by Native Americans, and they were land routes. In 1501, during the expedition of the notary of Triana, Rodrigo de Bastidas, the Spanish conquerors arrived in Panama for the first time. In 1513, natives guided Vasco Núñez de Balboa to the South Sea, and the small bridge between North and South America quickly became a strategic axis for international trade. The first city of the American continent was founded on the Pacific Ocean of Panama. The idea of excavating a maritime channel to join the two oceans goes back to the 15th century. Kings and sailors of Spain, Portugal, Scotland, and England once thought about it. By a decree issued in 1534, Emperor Charles V ordered to survey a route to the Pacific following the Chagres River. This was the first survey carried out for the construction of a canal through Panama. However, the canal had to wait. Construction of the Transismian Railroad began in 1850. The gold rush in California further increased the movement of settlers to the west using the Panama route. In 1855, the railway was ready. 75 kilometers of tracks from Colón on the Atlantic coast to Panama in the Pacific. Finally, in 1880, France undertook the construction of a sea-level canal in Panama. Ferdinand de Lesseps, the legendary builder of the Suez Canal, was in charge of the works. After 20 years of work and of struggling with an inhospitable climate, an unconquerable jungle, diseases and financial problems, the French abandoned the Titanic mission to unite the North and South Seas. Soon after, the United States bought the French Canal Company of Panama its rights and properties for $40 million. And in 1904, works were resumed. Nearly 184 million cubic meters of material were excavated. More than 3.4 million cubic meters of concrete were poured, and three sets of locks were built. The waters of the Chagres River were dammed to create Gatun Lake, which at the time was the largest artificial lake in the world. There were more than 45,000 workers, men and women, mostly from the West Indies. And on August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal was inaugurated. The work cost the United States government approximately $375 million, including the $10 million paid to Panama and the $40 million paid to the French company. The Panama Canal was the most expensive construction project in the history of the United States at the time. From 1914 and for 85 years, the United States operated and administrated the Panama Canal. The United States also exercised government control over the adjacent areas of the waterway. On December 31, 1999, and in compliance with the Torrijos-Carter treaties, the Panama Canal was transferred to Panama. Since then, Panama has been managing and operating the interoceanic route. The proposal to expand the canal's operational infrastructure was approved in a national referendum. The expansion project proposal presented to the country entailed the building of two new sets of locks, one on the Pacific and the other on the Atlantic, capable of accommodating more and bigger ships. And again, it was necessary to dig, deepen, and design locks. More than 150 million cubic meters of material were excavated and dredged. 192,000 tons of steel were required. 
more than 4.5 million cubic meters of concrete for the construction of the new locks and more than 40,000 workers. The new traffic lane along the canal was inaugurated on June 26, 2016. It has two new sets of locks, each with three levels. Agua Clara on the Atlantic and Cocolí on the Pacific. The new locks have a modern system of rolling gates and three water-saving basins for each level. The expansion doubles the canal's capacity and it has a direct impact on economies of scale and international maritime trade. Container ships are the main users of the new locks, followed by liquefied petroleum gas LPG carriers and liquefied natural gas LNG carriers. Other segments such as bulk carriers, tankers, car carriers and passenger ships also transit through the new locks. The new locks can accommodate Neo-Panamax vessels with a maximum capacity of 13,000 to 14,000 TEUs. Throughout the years, for over a hundred years, the Panama Canal has favorably impacted Panama's economy and of many other countries and regions of the world. However, the construction of this huge work, which further increases the economic and commercial advantages for Panama and the world, has also left, from its beginnings, significant contributions to scientific knowledge. Important geological findings were made during the canal expansion works that have changed what is known and taught. Until very recently, it was believed that the Isthmus of Panama had emerged from the sea 3.5 million years ago. But some findings made during expansion works excavations revealed something else. The connection of North and South America occurred more than 10 million years ago. Important archaeological and paleontological findings were also made during the expansion works. Among these findings are the huge chimney of a centennial incinerator discovered in the vicinity of Gatun Lake, air raid shelters, wagons, bottles from the beginning of the last century, and a dagger, which was a common use weapon between 1590 and 1610. These findings provide a basis for countless important research. Thanks to its geographical position, Panama is one of the most important logistic centers in the region. There are 80 kilometers and hundreds of routes crossing it. The Panama Canal is connectivity. And the expanded canal is driving the growth of the service sector, creating new business opportunities to further increase the competitive advantages of our country and the benefits for all Panamanians and the world. Additionally, the Panama Canal is the green route. The Panama Canal route offers the maritime industry the opportunity to transport greater volumes of cargo using fewer ships. This has a significant effect on the reduction of CO2 emissions by requiring fewer cargo movements as compared to other transportation systems. With the expanded canal, it is estimated that the Panama route will reduce more than 160 million tons of CO2 in the first 10 years of operation. The prints of each of the men and women who built the Panama Canal as well as of those who with their ingenuity, talent and will are still building it, are kept in its waters, in its stones and in its memory. The Panama Canal is the proof that dreams are possible when there are many fighting to make dreams come true.